Well, Walmart today having its annual shareholders meeting, getting an earful from one group of the, uh, the retail support of the new health care law and also the cap and trade legislation to the guy who's leading this charge, Peter Flaherty, National Legal and Policy Center. So Walmart supports cap and trade and supports health care, Peter. And what's the big deal? Who cares? Why, do you, why are you so angry about that? Well, Connell, I think it is a big deal. Walmart is a huge, powerful institution, mm -hmm. and it's now become an instrument for socialism. We argued today that the legacy of this country has been betrayed. It started under the former uh, CEO, Lee Scott, and has right. continued uh, with Mike Duke. In what and way? What, how is the bad legacy? For Walmart. It's bad for customers. How's the legacy? Because Sam betrayed? Walton was one of the greatest entrepreneurs this country had ever seen. Walmart was syn synonymous with entrepreneurship and the American dream. Right. But now we have Walmart supporting these socialist schemes, which is going to lead to a situation where we're like Europe. We have big government and big business in bed. And, of course, ordinary people are going to get you the know, shaft. When I listen to, all that, to that, that type of stuff, it, it, it's, it, and you say, oh, we're like Europe and it's big government, that's all fine. When the word socialism, don't you think you lose some people on that? It's like, oh, it's, you're, you're, that's a stretch. No? No, I don't. Um, these are not insignificant issues. What in the world is Walmart doing supporting a takeover of one-sixth of the economy in terms of health care? And what in the world is it doing supporting cap and trade, right. which will jack electric rates 90 percent, uh, destroy a million jobs, and uh, detract uh, $10 trillion from our gross domestic product over the next 25 how'd years? The, uh, For heaven's sakes, how are people going to have any money left to shop at Walmart? How'd the meeting go today, by the way? Well, good. Uh, I made the case uh, when I said that the American people are against Obamacare. Mm -hmm. The uh, full auditorium, the, the, uh, the Bud Walton Arena, erupted in applause. So the people are with us, and I believe Walmart shareholders and customers are with us. Right. Did you, uh, what, what are you pushing for, though? You want them to just get rid of, to, get, to stop supporting these efforts, or you just want to get your voice heard? I mean, it's not, will it accomplish anything at the end of the day? Well, we were there to make a point today, yeah. and I think okay. it's a powerful point. Walmart should act in its own best interests and in the interests of its customers and shareholders. Right. What, is, what it has tried to do instead is to appease left-wing activists and corrupt unions like the Service Employees International Union. I think the long-term interests of Walmart are served by supporting a free economy and leaving more money in people's pockets so they go shopping. We showed Mariah Carey before the break. I wonder who was the bigger star there. Was it you guys or was it her at the end of it? No, I was not the biggest star there. Mary J. Blige also oh, performed. Yeah, she's got uh, I said uh, at the top of my remarks that I could not sing or dance, but well, I thought I had something important Mary to Jay's say. Mary J. has got both you and Mariah beat. That's fine. But thank you very much for coming on. It's good to <laughs> okay. talk to you. Good luck. Uh, thank you, Connell. Uh, with the effort. Um, okay, that's the story on, uh, on Walmart.